okay, what kind of video can I possibly create that'll potentially get me a lot of views that I haven't already done yet? If I do a story time, no, everyone thinks those are fake. I can do a Q&A, no, Q&As are channel suicide. Maybe I can do a challenge, keep doing challenges and trendy videos that get a lot of views. No, 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 because if I do it, it becomes a problem. But other bigger channels that just oversaturate the hell out of challenges and trends, it's perfectly fine. Hmm, maybe I can do comedy skits again. No, those take too much time. I can make a video in 20 minutes that gets more views than that. There's 500 million hours of content uploaded on YouTube every single day. Quality isn't a thing anymore. Quantity, quantity, quantity is key. The more you upload, the better off your channel will be. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> I got it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Scarce here, and today we have a new video, nothing too crazy, but first I do want to give you guys a face cam. So seeing how I'm actually switching up my actually, actually, actually content here, I just wanted to kind of show you guys me. And also I'm not wearing a plaid shirt. It's actually, 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 actually dirty for once. Now the first story for today actually comes from FoosyTube, actually not. FoosyTube actually kicked off a Leafy fan off stage actually while he was on tour. This is actually kind of crazy and really embarrassing and kind of fucked up. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want that to happen to me while I was sitting there watching Fousey Tube on stage doing whatever Fousey Tube does while he's on stage. Now Leafy actually 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 made a response video to Fousey Tube actually kicking off one of his fans off stage. Let's see what Leafy actually actually has to actually say. You are literally a 26 year old fucking grown man. A 26 year old motherfucking grown adult. Oh my lovely little viewers of mine, hear me out, please, thank you. YouTube is a get more business. Remember those words, a get more business. And you may be asking, get more of what? Well, get more views, get more subscribers, get more followers, get more engagement, get more money. And that is perfectly okay because I truly believe that most of us YouTubers should market ourselves accordingly and look at ourselves as a small business. And how does a small business grow? Well. They get more. YouTube itself is so huge. Like when's the last time you sat down and watched TV as much as you watch YouTube? Or when's the last time you sat down and watched TV as much as you watch Netflix? Everything has gone digital. Everything is on our laptops, on our devices, our cell phones, our tablets. Everything is done digitally. The majority of our time spent is generally spent on what? There's a good chance you're holding it right now. And like I said, YouTube is so massive. It's the new craze, it's the new wave. People are looking at it like, oh my goodness, you get paid this much money to do YouTube? You see YouTubers buying mansions, getting all these crazy opportunities because of their status, buying new cars, GTRs, R8s, Audis, Maseratis, Lamborghinis, you see all of it. And so then the viewers see that and they're like, I want a piece of that pie. How do you make that much money? How are you making more money than a doctor, a lawyer, a brain surgeon? Like, how are you doing it? And just a disclaimer, not all YouTubers make as much money as a lawyer or a doctor or a brain surgeon, but there are quite a few. And there's also YouTubers where you'll see how much they make a month, your jaw will drop. But I'm not here to discuss money. I'm not here to discuss politics. I'm not here to discuss the fact that YouTube has become basically high school all over again. I'm not here to discuss any of that. I'm gonna make this about me rightfully so and my viewers and our relationship. I created my YouTube channel back in 2011, but I didn't start uploading anything on it until 2013. And also like most channels when you start uploading and also when you've just been on YouTube for a long time, whatever clicks, you'll go with that. Let's say you have a video that gets a million views and your next video only gets 20,000 views. Well, which video are you most likely going to recreate? It's pretty obvious. So in my case, what clicked for me was topic videos. So I started uploading topic videos until I got burned out on it. And then I'll switch over to do comedy skits. And I did comedy skits until I just got tired of doing comedy skits. And then I'll switch it up a little bit and I'll just do it until I got tired of it, until my viewers got burnt out on it. So on and so forth, you get the point. So I was doing all of that to do what? Well, to get more, to grow. That's what everybody's on this platform to do. We're here to grow, we're here to get more. We're not here to upload a video that takes us 20 hours to make and then have no watch it like that, that doesn't make any sense so there I was doing all that I can to grow and to get more but in the back of my mind I knew I just wanted to do one thing and one thing only and that is film there I was in high school doing video production and then I come home and I would also take a course online about film studies and cinematography and directing and all this stuff and it's just what I truly love doing but I would want it to grow I guarantee you if I created my YouTube channel back in 2011 based off of filmmaking and based off of what I truly love then 99% of you wouldn't know who the hell I am 
And I'm also pretty positive my channel would only be a fraction of what I have now. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that I created a beautiful mess with my YouTube channel. It's not exactly the ideal path that I want to be going down right now, and it's not exactly what I want to be doing right now. But regardless, like when you guys watch my content, no matter what it is, when you see me laugh, you see me smile, I truly do laugh and I truly do smile. I love what I do and I'm so grateful and humbled to the fact that I can actually call this my full-time job and pursue this and I'll slowly venture and transition to other things. For an example, I have a short film coming out next month, which I'm super excited about, but my content now will take a hit because short films take time. It just takes a lot of time. You have to write the script one, two, three, maybe even four times. Then you have the storyboard, then you have the shot list, then you have the location scout, then you got to get your actors, then you got to get your crew, then you got to get everything. You got to get your equipment. It just takes a lot of time and I can't nearly pop out what I truly want to do each week twice a week it's it's impossible so in the meantime of doing all of that i still have to create i'm just that type of person i have to create i have to upload i have to edit i have to be doing what i truly love doing even though it's in a different form i still have to be doing it and that's what you guys watch you know once or twice a week or whenever you watch me that's what you guys watch so basically as much as you guys label me as a youtuber i label myself as a filmmaker and now you may be thinking to yourself like you're not a filmmaker you're not involved in filmmaking what are you talking about i've been involved in filmmaking for seven years now I wrote and directed one short film. I've been a part of two other short films and I have another short film coming out next month. My first ever horror short film, which I'm super excited about. So in the meantime, while I'm in pre-production, if any of you guys know about pre-production, you know what kind of a hassle and struggle and just exhausting that is. But while I'm in pre-production, a lot of my content now on YouTube might take a little bit of a hit, might take a little bit of a backseat because I'm so focused on what I'm trying to accomplish long term and I'm trying to work towards a goal here. Like I said, it's a beautiful mess that I'm in. And now we're not trying this for anything in the world because at the end of the day I still get to create something whether it's a short film whether it's working towards a feature film whether it's creating regular little goofy entertaining YouTube videos for you guys like I still get to create something I still get to edit I still get to be surrounded with what I love doing and it is the best feeling in the entire world so while I'm doing my filmmaking dream I'm still in the get more YouTube business because at the end of the day I'm gonna need you guys every single one of you I'm gonna need that support system even when I get into the film industry because it's just it's so vital to have. I just need you guys to understand that I truly do need you and I hope you stick by my side no matter what type of content I upload because at the end of the day I'm still entertaining somebody. I'm still having fun doing it. I still get to create and do what I love doing. So I hope you guys support me and I know you guys will. I know some of you will have a problem with this and be like what are you talking about? That's perfectly normal. You can't please everybody. And I just hope you guys have a better understanding of where my head's at with all of this and if you follow me on my Twitter or Snapchat then you know a little bit more than someone that doesn't. So if you want to hit the description box, follow me on my Instagram. Instagram, my Snapchat, uh, my emails down there. Everything you need to know about me, well, not technically, but social media wise, it's down there. I'm still gonna venture out and have fun and do things my own way, whether it's a trendy thing or a challenge or whatever. Like, I still wanna have fun on this channel. Like, I don't want it to just become something that's just, I don't want you guys to be burnt out. So I'm doing my best, just be mindful that I have something much larger than what you guys see with these videos. Something that I'm brewing up right now, mentally, physically. I'm, I'm working on things and I'm trying to move forward and I'm trying to just, build a career for myself outside of YouTube. And do not worry because I am not leaving YouTube anytime soon. I'll be on here longer than you guys will be watching me. You guys will grow up and get married and have kids and I'll still be doing french fry videos. I'm just kidding, I would not be doing that. I'm not going anywhere my content isn't changing anytime soon. I just wanna let you guys in a little bit more on my mental and my outlook on all this and just have a better understanding. Hopefully you do. So if you do, then make sure you hit that like button. Also leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for new videos every single week. And also just remember, I'm only here to save your Mondays and occasionally your Thursdays, even though I'm uploading this on a Wednesday, but I got another video coming out tomorrow. A sponsored video. <laughs> Don't hate me. My dream is very, very expensive.